Where are my glasses? Hello? Oh God, of course I'm alone in a blackout. Where's that damn fuse box? Oh, oh. there's someone there. I, I'm sorry, I don't bite. Deborah, is that you? Thanks. Oh, sorry, it's been a long day. I'm tired and I was just working on the project. And then the lights went out. God, I could have sworn there was someone else here. Ted, is that you? No, it's, it's not Ted. I don't think you know what my name is, but I'll bet you've seen me. I empty the recycling bins. 10 p.m. sharp, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, God, this is creepy. You're John. Oh, oh, you do know my name. It's Wednesday. I know. I, I didn't come in yesterday, personal reasons. I know you can't see anything right now, but it doesn't help that I just lost my glasses and I'm nearsighted. Could you please help me find that switch? I, I don't think it's a blown fuse. I, uh, I think the whole city's down. How do you know that? Can, can you see a window from here? Um, I can't really make it out. There's no moonlight tonight. Found one. Oh, I can't really see anything. I can kind of make out the building outlines, but I think you're right about the whole city power going out. Oh, it's, it's funny. Uh, you can't even see the stars. Odd. Are we the only people here? No, I, di I didn't see anyone else. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't remember the last time I've ever had to deal with something like this. I was either eight or nine. And? Well, that's it, essentially. I was at home with my dad, and the power went out. He didn't have a candle or anything, but he's an old-fashioned pipe smoker. So he had a match in his pocket. We stumbled over to the fireplace, and that's where we got the light for the rest of the evening. This may sound juvenile, but I can't stand being in the darkness. I always leave the unsweet bathroom light on when I go to sleep. Have you ever been in complete darkness? Never. Well, besides that one time. Other than that, that's it. I like to see where things are and know where my shadow is. I imagine you get really hot with all those lights on. Not really. I mean, I don't mind. You're like a, a tiny heat island. Are you aware of urban heat islands? I beg your pardon? Uh, okay, you, uh, you take a city with lots of people, uh, a few million... What's your name? Maria. A few million Marias. All who can't sleep without a light on, or, or can't even exist in the daytime without some form of light on. You know, all these cities are giving off lots of heat. More than they should. I know, I know, it's gonna speed up global warming, etc. But I've had that debriefing before. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I, I'm very uncomfortable being in the dark. Our ancestors didn't have street lights. They didn't have fluorescent tubes. They didn't even have night lights in their Neanderthal caves. I bet they didn't stay at work late till 10 p.m. either. The sun goes down, it gets dark. It's natural, it, it's safe, and it doesn't harm anyone. It gives you time for reflection. Do you think about this often? Hey, I didn't do my job yesterday, did I? You stayed home to think? I like to look at the stars. I need to be alone sometimes. Human technology it overwhelms me. I like to look up those little white dots and let them tell me where to go. I wish I had the gall to lie to my supervisor like that. I didn't lie. I said personal reasons, that's what I told them. And besides, I'm doing my job today, aren't I? Well, imagine everybody took a day off work and went home, turned all the lights off. Wouldn't that be silly? Wouldn't that be nice? What if the lights stayed off? Well, there wouldn't be any more Maria cities. Exactly. There'd still be cities, but they wouldn't be Maria cities. They would have all the problems that come with being a city, and we could just move on to the next thing on our list. Like carbon emissions, maybe. Hey, I think I found my glasses. Hmm. I can kind of make you out now. I think my eyes have adjusted. See? There's light here. Real light. 
Sometimes you have to be in the dark long enough to be able to see. Whoa, are you hitting on me? Oh, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm happily married. Oh, just checking. So you're philosophical by nature, then? I've been called deep more than once. You seem like a fairly intelligent guy, oddly wise. Why do you work at a recycling company? Oh, it, it makes me happy that uh, these reports are going back into paper processing instead of just being burnt. You know, and other trees get cut down to compensate. And besides, the schedule fits my lifestyle. I like to work at night. You left the lights on the last time I saw you here. Yeah, I uh, figured you didn't like to work in the dark like I do. Oh, well, that assumption was correct. I just want you to listen. The night has a distinct and quiet song. I'm listening. I want you to enjoy the dark. I don't know how. Every line is connected by a network to so many things. People, places, ideas, relationships, events, dreams, awakenings, births, deaths. Different lives lived. Imagine if we turned off that network for a few seconds. A few minutes or, or, or maybe forever. Imagine what that would feel like. Being connected with the world. Being connected somehow in natural darkness. It's so quiet right now. It's like I can feel the pulse of the earth below me like a heartbeat. What do you have there? It's a candle. I bring it with me on nights where there's no moon. Like tonight. I forgot I had it. I thought you might like it. What? I just want to feel like everybody else, just for one minute. 